Cheap drunk. A show's production value is completely determined by the fact that all the items I bought here, I bought for money that I earned. Babysitting people's children. That's right, folks, I'm a nanny. That's why I haven't been filming, because I've been getting my shit together. And now, falling apart. On this episode of Cheap Drunk, we will be drinking a delicious Fulton's Harvest pumpkin pie cream liqueur. I've heard you, Internet. I've heard from my mom, Gigi's mom, my boyfriend, and my assistant high school principal who watches this show that I don't drink enough. So I'm going to raise you a whole bottle of cream liqueur, which I will drink to excess. Would you like to read the, descri hear the description? Paraphrase. An enticing blend of pumpkin, brown sugar, and nutmeg combined for a smooth, creamy liqueur that is reminiscent of homemade pumpkin pie. Best served chilled or on the rocks. Oh, I should have chilled this. Wait, getting you rocks. But thanks for the rocks. Oh, this is from when we went wine tasting. I'm so excited. I'm always so fearful, but I'm so excited. This one says you have to shake well. I don't know. There's a weird joke in there somewhere. It smells so good. This is the first time I haven't seen you terrified to try this drink. I'm so excited. Here we go. It tastes like the pumpkin candle that I have. I've never eaten my pumpkin candle. That's pumpkin. disgusting. No, in a good way. You know how delicious pumpkin candles smell? This is like, that's just how they, if they were edible, they taste like this. You and mean like if they were pumpkins? Like the food they're supposed to smell like? Mmm. Oh, and there's like, there's a kick. There's like a little kick at the end of it too. It's like, mmm, sweet, creamy, mm, alcohol. This is delicious. I want to contact them, like sponsor us. I want this all the time. I'm going to chunk this off and then we're going to pour another glass. How long is the liquor store open? Until 10. We can finish filming and go now get another bottle. Oh man, we're pouring in a hand. I'm going to shake it. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is, oh, the price of this. Hey, how much was this? Uh, 10 89 That's it? It's cheap. I mean, we should have sent the show there. It's not going to go up. Everyone go out and buy this. Amazing. I can't just drink this little show. Instead, I also have to do something else because, like, that's the premise we established. So, anyways, what are we doing this episode? Let me, let me roll it back. I wanted to knit a sweater for this episode. Now, I've never knit before, but I, want, but I have dreams. And Gigi believes in lowering my dreams. So, here's my little yarn that I got for $3.99. And these are... The knitting needles that I stole from, I didn't steal, I borrowed them from my grandmother, I had to give them back. And she, ooh, it's already starting. My grandma, briefly, not so briefly, but before we started filming, showed me how to knit because my grandmother's this amazing knitter. She's knitting sweaters and scarves and like afghan, like she's, a, she's amazing. She was teaching me how to do this and she kept yelling at me that I wasn't tucking this in under my arm right. So you have these two needles. And you take the right one and you tuck it in really tight. And then you take the, these needles. You have to, okay, so you have to like go under. This part's easy. You go under, you loop, and then this part's the tricky. You have to like just move. I don't really know how to just move the left one. You have to like sort of like, eh, you have to like undo. You sort of like have to undo what you just did and then go back. Loop, loop, whoop, whoop, whoop. Undo what you just did, undo what you just did. And then pull it out, 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 pull it out. Sort of like birth control, just like pull it out. That's how a teen mom happened. Oh man, I'm doing this shit. This is not relaxing by the way. This is like stressful. I'm hungry, wanna get sushi after this? I wanna take a sip, but like I, I'm on a roll. Sit me. Oof, my stomach already is like, that was delicious, but like, why are you doing this? Have I ever told you guys the time I yes. threw up from eating so much cheese? Let's not talk about that again. It was junior year of college. Yeah. I'd eaten a nope. piece of cheesecake, some camembert, and some mac and cheese. I threw up so much 
while in person was at my apartment that wasn't living there. And they weren't my friend, they were my roommate's friend. My roommate, I don't know if she liked me very much after that moment. My stomach was so distended, it looked like I was eight months pregnant. Oh good, that's a new detail. Oh fuck! Oh fuck tits! Oh fuck tits! No! Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. This is amazing. I'm gonna finish. Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck, it's like the end is so hard. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. This is amazing. Look at this. Oh, I think I kind of fucked it up. Actually, I'm hot. I'm like sweating. I think that's it, right? Do I have anything else to say? No. No, I think you're drunk. Knitting's fun if you know how to do it. If you don't, it's fucking frustrating and aggravating. And maybe I'll finish the scarf. If I do, I'll post it on the Facebook. The Facebook I do keep in touch at. Just like, look at us up on Facebook. We're there. I did it for you, internet. Stay cheap. Stay drunk. I need to stop where I'm going to projectile vomit. ¿Ve? No, no se tiene que salir esto, tiene que aguantar siempre ahí las agujas. ¿Ves? Mira. ¿Y qué pasa si, si algo cae o algo así? Tiene que recuperarlo otra vez, <risa> a levantarlo.